Hi guys, this is Jar Art Spy and welcome to another tutorial. Now let's price start quickly. I want to give a massive shout out to Who Samo. Um, he's amazing. He's such good help. Been like he's just an awesome guy. Um, he's a graphic designer who I've been doing. Um, he's basically been doing my backgrounds for me. Um, well, he's designing one for me right now while I record this. So I should probably have a new background by the time this video goes up. Um, but yeah, he's such a cool guy, he's an amazing graphic designer, so be sure to go check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description. It's um actually let me just check what it is, I've forgotten already. Um this is it here, it's who's Samu, but the the A in Samu is an X. Um go check out his channel, he definitely deserves a lot more um like recognition. Now let's just get into this tutorial here. The effect we're gonna be creating is a pretty cool one. It's um someone on my second tutorial on the um, the ring scope tutorial they asked me on how to do cloning like scene in Baker's skate edit um, and I tried to recreate the effect it's not perfect but obviously it's Baker you can't really recreate Baker's effects um, unless he does a tutorial on them but this is what I've created from it as you see as it scrolls through here that he clones then they fade out um, I just play this through you'll see what happens boom 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 now I think it looks pretty cool it's really nice have this in a cinematic. Um, now obviously you don't have to fade them out, I thought it would be cool to have them fade out after a while. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see them all there, like all there, if each of their own one. Um, it's quite easy to do, it's a little time consuming but I'm just gonna kind of get right into it and show you how we do it. So I'm just going to make a new composition here. Actually I'm gonna, I've got my cinematic here that I've got with the player running. I'm gonna drag this into a composition. So we're gonna call this cloning. Now this is, I've seen this being called the shadow effect before, because obviously he's leaving a shadow behind. But you can um, call it whatever you want, I just call it a clone effect. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to go through the cinematics where you want the first one to appear. So I want roughly here, I'm going to press shift, um, wait no, I'm going to press command D to duplicate it. Then I'm going to press shift command D to split the layer, and I'm just going to delete it the previous one so now we've got a layer that starts there we're now going to right click it go to time freeze frame so now as you run through it it freezes on there and we don't want it to just freeze and then we need the other guy to run through but what we're going to do quickly we're just going to call this layer one and just call this cine we're going to duplicate this and no we're not sorry we're going to hide that one Go to where we next want the freeze to be, so roughly there, I believe. Yeah, here we'll do. We're going to hit duplicate again. We're going to this time hit Alt Open Square Bracket, and that will just do it a lot easier. It will split the layer a lot easier instead of having to do both things like Shift Command D then delete. You can just hold Alt and Open Square Bracket, and it will just chop it off for you. And then again, do the same thing. Right click, Time Freeze Frame. And I'm going to call this number two. Huh. I'm sorry, Major, number two. Lol. And then I'm going to go to roughly, is that all right? Uh, gap, yep, here should do. We're going to do the same thing. Command D, duplicate, Alt, open, square bracket. Drag it up to the top. Call it three. Right click, time, enable time remap. Uh, whoops, not that one, sorry. And it, uh, freeze frame. There we go. Okay, so now. Um, if I show you, one freezes there, then freezes there, and then freezes there. Now, they aren't the one in the guy in the background isn't carrying running for starters, and there's only one of them showing up at a time. So let's deal with that now. Now the key to this, the whole effect revolves around masking. Now we did a talk about masking in my last tutorial. Um, this goes a bit more. Um, you need to do a bit more masking in this tutorial. So basically, you just want to mask around your guy here doesn't really have to be that exact because you're going to feather it a little bit but and obviously I'm doing this because it does take a bit of time to do this um, I'm kind of rushing it not doing it super exact but it is hard to do exact on um, a clip like this because obviously um, the more you zoom in the pixel the more pixelated the image goes so it's hard to tell what's going on now the shadows on well, particularly on this cinematic, can be a pain to do because he's obviously running quite fast. Um, 
so the shadows do look a bit dodgy so i'm not actually going to go around the shadows at all um so we'll go with master guy here we're going to hit m and then m again <laughs> so now we bring up all the mask we're going to bring the feather up to roughly two and then that <laughs> should work and if we go to the next so as you can see boom he carries in running <laughs> so let's, let's zoom out a bit and you can see and now we've got another person there, which is pretty cool. And then actually, actually, as you can see, it freezes and the shadow carries on. Um, like you can actually do an individual mask of the shadow if you want. So I'm going to just go and, go and do that now. I'm going to hit the pen tool. And we're just going to mask around what looks like the shadow, roughly. I'm not even sure if this is the shadow, but <laughs> I think this is the, ma the majority of the shadow. Do that. Again, do the same thing, add a feather of roughly two. So now, hopefully, if we just zoom out a bit, oh, yeah, um, bring all that down, zoom out, you'll see that the shadow still stays there, which is pretty cool. And the guy has in running. The plus, and it looks quite good as well. Now, there's, there isn't actually a way to make the guy freeze behind um, because you would have to. Um, mask the actual guy running for the entire duration of him being in front of the gun. Um, I know it sounds a bit confusing, but basically that's how you would do it. Um, okay, so then you want to go to this one, the next one along, and do the same thing. Now, I do apologize if, if you can hear some like noises in the background. Um, we're getting some like the door handles and pictures put up downstairs, so there is a bit of like hammering and like drilling and stuff going on um okay so again just the same thing we're just going around um masking our guy here again doesn't have to be too special because this cinem well this cinematic individually does go by quite fast um, oh, no, that cuts off half his face don't want to do that <laughs> so yeah we're doing this and also last night, while I do this, I hit 150 subscribers. So thank you a lot for that, guys. It means a lot. Um, like, I think I had four days ago, I had no partnership and 109 inactive subscribers. And now I'm, like, being boosted up so much. Like, it really means a lot. So thanks, guys. Um, and, like, my, my videos get, like, loads of views and like they get really good feedback and everything so like thank you so much because i really do appreciate it um because i'm doing these tutorials for you guys so and i think you're enjoying them and yeah so like someone asked me to do this tutorial so i thought i'd have a go at doing it so here goes i like i can't just go through finding effects for you guys to show because i like doing different tutorials that not many people do so if you have seen any effects that you want to know just tell me in the comments section that's what it's for um yeah tell me what to do so i'm just gonna zoom out a bit here and like so you know i've got one two and see it looks pretty good so and then last one's here so we're gonna do the last one here and obviously the shadow is gonna be a bit tougher on this one because um it's actually right out in the open there's no like none of this darker shadow here in the way. Yeah, so it's gonna go through like this. Uh, but as you can see, it does. It is kind of quite a time, a length, not time consuming, but lengthy process of. And it's like the more shadows you have, obviously, the oh, oops, um, the longer it will take. But like, it is a nice effect in the end. So. If you really want to make your edits look good, you will be spending time on them. Um, so this is kind of what you've got to do. And also, there is an easy way of doing this. I've seen some people in Sony Vegas do it by like a different way, where you literally um, save the image, then just bring the opacity down um, on that image, and it looks good. But you can't really animate it much, like I did in the example. Um, and I prefer this way just because it looks cleaner. It looks a lot nicer. And it's got a lot more freedom to edit like how it looks so there are other ways of doing this but this is like my way um okay there we go it's gonna bring that around a bit 
you can kind of obviously edit each point of the mask and again bring the feather up to two so now we zoom out fully you can see where have I got it? I actually haven't done the shadow yet have I? Yeah, the shadow goes and running it looks pretty cool though <laughs> Alright, let's just do the shadow quickly. Zoom in. Now, I can't, the shadow on like a shadow like this isn't going to be that hard to do because you just don't really need to be that exact with it. And like so. Like so, there we go, and that'll do for now, I think. Uh, bring the feather up to two. I like doing two just because it's kind of a clean look and then not too over feathered. And now, as you can see, the shadow stays there. Boom, 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 boom. There you go, guys. Right, now, one thing one thing I did in the um, testing was I actually faded them out after a short time. So to do that, you want to go to the first frame, hit T on your keyboard, hit the stopwatch for opacity. You want to then hold down Shift, Command, and the right arrow key, or Shift, Command, um, or Shift, Control, Right arrow key to go forward 10 frames. Now you want to go back, hold the command or control button and go back 1, 2, 3. So you've gone forward 7 frames. Hit the opacity button to hit the, add another keyframe. Now go forward um, 10 frames. So like that. And then go forward another 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you've basically gone forward 15 frames from this mark. And you want to bring the opacity down to 0. And you can delete this frame here, this first one. So now what happens is he stays there for some amount of time and then he starts fading out after a bit. Now you can then literally duplicate these. Um, go forward your seven frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Copy those keyframes, paste them in there. If you hit U now, you'll see that they're there. Now this guy fades out. And then do the same here. So go for 7 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, paste that in, and see they all fade out now. And there's a dodgy frame at the end of the cinematic, which is kind of annoying. Uh, right, so now, if we watch this, like so, the guy appears and it all fades out, and it's pretty cool. And obviously you can make these frames last longer, whoops, by just selecting those and just dragging them out. Like so, and now they're obviously there for a lot longer. You can obviously change the length of the way they're appearing. But all in all, it's quite a nice effect, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to go check out Samu's channel. Again, link in the description. Um, let's try and get maybe 10 likes. I know we've been getting roughly around 10 likes on these tutorials. And I've been coming out with them daily for you. Like, I uploaded one on... Tuesday, I uploaded one yesterday and I uploaded one today and I'll probably upload one tomorrow as well. Um, so I've got kind of like four tutorials in a week for you, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, leave a comment, favourite it if you enjoyed it, be sure to tell your friends about me and I shall see you guys in the next video.